so hi everyone in this particular tutorial we will be running through game engine so it is one of the recently launched neural network by google which is disrupting the gaming industry so what it actually do it is a neural network that can generate game simulations so it is not developing just an agent for playing the game it is developing an entire game video without using any sort of an engine so if game engine comes into play it can help you generate video game simulation and an entire video game in the future like from setting up the gaming environment different levels everything can be done using a deep learning architecture no no software required so talking about the results what uh, in the paper that has been released by google they have tried the model on a popular game called as doom so if you don't know doom is a first person shooting game now talking about the result it can simulate doom at over 20 frames per second on a single tpu the results the psnr value if you don't know what psnr psnr is basically a measure for measuring the image quality with a high value indicating that less noise and less distortion so the quality of the image is quite high if the psnr value is high a psnr value of 29.4 as mentioned in the paper what they have achieved is quite good now uh talking about the results uh, that we understand as mentioned human raters or the evaluators that were evaluating the gameplay are slightly better than the random chess that is 50% of accuracy at distinguishing whether the clip is generated by ai or some human has played the game so it is that accurate it is just amazing so if the results are just better by random chance that is 50% they have done a great job trust me now we will talk a little detail about how the model is developed how the data generation has happened and a little bit about the architecture we won't be jumping deep into the architecture else it would become very complicated so talking about the data generation to if you know uh, train any deep learning model you need to have loads and loads of data and especially when you are go dealing with video data sets so as mentioned in the paper generating uh, getting gameplay videos was just impossible from humans like you are asking humans to play for hours and hours of video game so what they did they trained a reinforcement learning agent that first plays the game and generates the data for them so that's a great idea once done they have used a pre trained stable diffusion v1.4 model which is based on unit architecture which is used for generating images from text i think you must have heard of stable diffusion now they have adopted this model to work with game doom by focusing on the sequence of actions and frames so basically what they did they trained stable diffusion v1.4 over the doom data set that they have prepared in the first step using the reinforcement learning agent now as mentioned in the paper during training time they have added some noise in the images usually we don't do it but they have done it and they said that this has given them better results as the model was learning to fix those noisy images by learning to recover the original image from the noisy ones the model became better now coming to the last step uh, that is fine tuning of the model that has been used so at a point the authors have mentioned that the stable diffusion model was quite good when it is developing bigger artifacts in the game so like for example the player uh, the cargo ships the containers but in a game there are many small artifacts also like uh, bullet for example blood splashes for example so in that cases the model was not great so what they did uh, if i talk a little about the architecture stable diffusion 1.4 uses auto encoder basically which is designed to compress images in a smaller simpler version keeping this uh, important information so i think if you know about auto encoders you would be able to get it in this case it takes a small section of 8 cross 8 pixel and compresses it into four channels now as i mentioned earlier there was minor glitches because of this compression that was happening to fix this the model the team has trained the decoder part of the auto encoder used and then the results have improved the decoder is responsible for turning the compressed information back into full image so if you know how auto encoder works so basically the encoder will compress the image and the decoder will again expand the full image so they have worked on the decoder part of the auto encoder used so that the final results that are coming out are good for the small artifacts also and the loss uses msc so i think you must be knowing it now this is the particular architecture that is getting used so i'm not jumping in detail 
So the first section is data collection. As you can see, they have trained a reinforcement learning agent in a gaming environment and collected the data. And then the generative model training is happening in this way using cross attention features and denoising network. So I hope this is fine. We are not jumping in details else it will become very complicated. Now the video has been deployed on YouTube. So you can check out what the model has generated out of Doom and it looks amazing. I won't be running it because of copyright issues. You can check this out. Now just a final thought, the game, the model looks quite interesting. The idea is very interesting to generate an entire game and if it scales up well, like right now they're trying just with Doom. But if they can scale up to multiple models, I think it can be a game changer in the gaming industry, like that chat GPT moment for the gaming industry. So hope you read about the paper, you understood what game engine is and you try it. If you get a chance, do look into the video of the Doom samples that the team has generated using game engine. They look fabulous. Thank you so much.